Hey guys, today we're gonna do a Sephora try-on haul. I uh, placed an order at Sephora uh, specifically for one thing, and then I thought, well, let me try and see if I can create like a whole face full of new stuff, things that I've been curious about. So, uh, actually not the one thing. There's actually a, a few things in here that prompted me to uh, place an order at Sephora. The first one is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Tint. It has an SPF 20. I got it in the shade. 215 Light Buna. And yes, we'll be trying out another foundation today. It's really endless, but many of you asked me to test this out, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. And then what caught my eye, and this is what actually prompted me to, excuse me, to <laughs> hop onto Sephora to begin with, is Danessa Myricks came out with the Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette in two shades. So I got both shades. Uh, here's like kind of a preview of what the colors are like. Um, so I really wanted to pick those up. And then I started to poke around and see what else I could get, like I said, to kind of create a full face. So there's this cream bronzer from Say that I've heard really good things about, so we're gonna be trying that out. Uh, Rare Beauty just came out with a loose powder, soft, uh, radiant setting powder. I got it in the shade Light Medium. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if that works for me, but that's another product I've heard really good things about. So I'm excited for that. And then Rose Ink is a new brand at Sephora that I wanted to try. So I got the concealer and I also got the eyebrow gel. The Clinique Cheek Pop Highlighter in the limited edition Lunar New Year. I think uh, this is in Gold Celebration Pop. That's the shade. And I think this is the same shade as last year whenever they've come out with like the Lunar New Year uh, limited edition like versions of their cheek pop highlighter. So I think I have this color in uh, what was last year, Ox, uh, and maybe even the year before, which I think was Pig. I'm losing track. But anyway, this year is Tiger, and I just I love these little highlighters. So I wanted to pick this up anyway, and I did not have like a highlighter in this haul. So I thought, why not? So that is it. But I am very excited to try out this Shiseido. So like I said, it has an SPF of 20 and there is a mixture of chemical and physical sunscreen in here of octanoxate, octocrylene, and titanium dioxide. So it comes in this 30 mil, it's just short of one fluid ounce. It's 0.95 ounces um, and it's in the squeezy tube. And like I said, I got shade number 215. So let me shake this up. I don't hear anything moving around. Um, oh, it's got a pointy tip there. And since they call this a tint, I'm assuming that this is gonna have a light, light medium kind of coverage, but we will see. So I'm gonna squeeze some out onto the back of my hand here. Ooh, it has a lotion-y kind of texture, which looks nice and creamy. And I'm gonna use my La Mer foundation brush, just pick up a little bit here. The shade, let's see if it looks okay. So far it looks nice, we'll see if it oxidizes. And so far from what I can tell, this has a pretty light coverage. So one thing I'm definitely noticing is as I'm applying it, it's very cooling to the skin. So that's nice. It is very refreshing. Is that, oh yeah, Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Tint. Well, it does feel very, very refreshing on the skin. And I think this shade is like dead on. That's a really good one. It doesn't have that much coverage though, but I don't see like a difference at all between my face and my neck. I'm gonna squeeze out just a little bit more and see if I can get just a little bit more coverage like on my cheeks here. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think I got uh, any additional coverage. I would say the coverage for this tint is light. Um, I wouldn't even call it light medium. It does just a little bit of evening out. This is a really great no makeup makeup kind of base. Uh, I'm sure you guys could all guess. I mean, I could guess from <laughs> the name of this, uh, calling it a tint, that this was not gonna be some sort of like full coverage, uh, all night out kind of product. But I do like the finish that it's giving my skin. There's a nice, very, very soft, radiant kind of glow. Yeah, it's very, yeah, it's very um, soft looking, which is nice. I feel like because this is the perfect match for me now, this is gonna be too light for me 
come the warmer months. But if I like this enough, I'll definitely pick up a deeper shade. But it feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel like it's tight. It doesn't feel like it's kind of setting down and drying down a little bit too much. It feels really, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I have a little bit left on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna finish applying to the rest of my face. So there it is all over. So far, very nice. I like the light coverage. You know I'm a big fan of that. All right, but we do have a concealer to try, and that is the Rose Ink Soft Light Luminous Hydrating Concealer. And I got it in the shade LX020. And wow, this is much bigger than I thought. Here is the packaging. And <laughs> I hope this concealer isn't too deep for me. But let's see. This looks like, oh, it could be too deep. It's got one of those giant doe foot applicators. I'm just going to swatch this next to what I have left on my hand from the Shiseido. I think, I think the shade may be too deep, but let's try a little bit. I won't go too heavy. Not that I ever really go too heavy with concealer, but I'm just gonna dot a little bit. I'm very curious about the texture. And ooh. Okay, it's very high coverage. I'm actually gonna put the uh, excess I had on my fingers on this side here and kind of wipe off this excess here. So really high coverage, <laughs> very, very pigmented. And oh, blends in very, very nicely. Really kind of creamy kind of texture, you know, it's not a concealer that's too thin, but it's also not too thick and cakey. It's really nice. And the shade is okay, you know, if I kind of just want to match my skin tone, but with concealer, I usually like to go down a little bit so that there's a little bit of brightening underneath my eyes. So I may want to check out a shade lighter, but this is LX020 for your reference if you have a similar skin tone to me. Hmm. But so far it looks very, very nice. Okay, yeah, not sinking into fine lines, not looking dry or anything. Let's see, next, oh, let's try this Say Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. And I did get it in the shade Light Bronze, I believe that's the lightest shade that they have. I was debating between the lightest and the second to lightest shade, but I thought, you know what, I'm pretty pale right now, so let's stick with this. So this is what the packaging looks like. And let's see what this shade looks like. Oh, nice. It looks very neutral. It's so hard to tell online if a bronzer is gonna be a little bit too orange, a little bit too yellow, a little bit too olive. Like, it's really, really hard to tell. But so far in the pan, this one looks actually fairly uh, neutral, maybe a little warm leaning. Let me do a little swatch. Ooh, nice texture. There's a swatch of it next to the concealer and the foundation. And I think, well, we'll have to get it on my face to see, but by looking at the swatch, I think this could be a bronze that has like a little bit of a peach, peachy undertone to it. Not quite orange, but peachy, which I love. I'm just trying to, <laughs> I'm like trying to find like the right angle here. I'm trying to see if this has a sheen to it. I think this bronzer may have a little bit of a sheen, which is really pretty, like really, really subtle kind of metallic sheen. Ooh, even better. Let's see what it says on the box. A lightweight whipped cream bronzer that creates a sun-kissed velvety finish. Blend with a buffing brush on targeted areas or use a small amount all over for glowing bronze and color. Benefits, organic plant oils and oat powder nourish skin. Silica creates a soft focus effect. Easy Eau Naturelle Sunkissed Bronze Finish. Oh, how cool. And this was made in the US. All right. Well, let me whip out one of my cream product brushes. I've got my Sony G Classic Base Brush. And actually, before we go any further, I am going to put on some lip balm because my lip is like cracking right there. Oof. All right. So again, Classic Base Brush. I'm gonna dip into the product here. 
And I always like to test it out on the back of my hand. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna add a little bit along my hairline, down underneath my cheekbones there. And I'm just stamping to kind of blend out the edges there. I'm glad I got this shade. I think the shade is definitely deep enough for what I am, um, for what I'm looking to do. I'm going to stamp some onto my forehead here, just as bronzer. I'm trying to get a better sense of the actual um, undertones here. Yeah, I feel like I can see now that it has a really nice kind of peachy undertone. And when I say peachy, I feel like it's between red and orange. It's not too red. There are a lot of bronzers that have a really strong red undertone, which I also don't mind. That gives you a really like sunburnt kind of look. And then there are ones that are very warm, very, very orangey. And when I say peachy, it's kind of in between, which is kind of ideal for me, especially during this time of the year when <laughs> it's obvious I really haven't been out in the sun, but it just gives me like a nice subtle kind of uh, warmth and glow to my skin. All right, well, so far, Big thumbs up for the shade, big thumbs up for the actual like texture of this. I feel like it blended out really nicely, but when I put my hands on here, like it sets down nicely. This side I put down first and it definitely feels more set down than, than this side. Oh, that's nice, but I really like the tone of it. You know, very, very natural. Okay, wow, so far, so good. You know, trying new makeup can be like a minefield. <laughs> You're just waiting for the next product to like ruin your entire look. But anyway, we're just having fun here. Um, next, let's try this Rare Beauty Soft Radiance. Oh, always an optimist, Soft Radiance Setting Powder in Light Medium. So here is the packaging and we've got Ah, we've got a like swing around top here. So this swings open and then we've got a few holes for a sifter. Oh, that'll keep it nice and contained. All right, I'm gonna pour a little bit out into the cap here and show you the color of the powder. So it definitely has a peachy tinge to it and you know, depending on how translucent it is, will depend on whether or not this is gonna work for my skin tone, but let me see if I can swatch, swatch this. <laughs> can I swatch powder a little bit? I just brushed it across my wrist here underneath all of these other swatches. Actually, yeah, you can see it. It is quite peachy. And if I remember from the website, I couldn't decide between this and the shade down because the shade down I think looked like it was just uh, white or very, very pale. Yeah, and I, I just, I had a hard time deciding and I went with this one. But anyway, let's go ahead and try it. So I'm just gonna pick up uh, what I tapped into the cap here and just gonna start over the concealer and then add a little bit to my forehead and over that cream bronzer. Now I just powdered this side of my face. I do feel like, I feel like it tanned it up a little bit, a little bit. So this is not quite as translucent as I would have liked. Actually, I'm gonna look on the Sephora site again and see like what the, the paler shade is. So yeah, the light is uh, described as soft pink for fair to light complexions and then light medium is described as a true peach for light to medium complexions. So I thought that this would work a little bit better, but I think actually, I think I would be kind of like between those two shades because I don't want it too peachy, but I also don't want it too pink because I really like neutral base products. So anyway, again, as shade reference, if you do have a similar skin tone to mine, uh, that's sort of what I'm thinking. I don't know if that helps at all. I'll just turn down the brightness. I don't know if you guys can see how this side is just a teensy bit deeper than this side, and I think it's from the powder. So I'm just gonna finish applying powder to the rest of my face here, even things out. Oh, and I just noticed that this powder did not come with a powder puff, which is great because I never use those powder puffs, and they're always just sort of in the way. Oh, that's awesome, okay. 
Good job, Rare Beauty. All right, now for the Danessa Myricks uh, Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette. So I got both of the shades. One is called Do It Flirty, and the other one is called Do It Undercover. So I'm gonna start with Do It Flirty. Well, let me open both up. All right, so here is Do It Flirty. Comes in this clear acrylic palette. And here is what the palette looks like. This, uh, these creams are a little bit on the softer side. I just went like this and I, I don't know if you can see, like I kind of dragged a whole like chunk down. Don't do that. <laughs> um, but let me go ahead and swatch all of these shades. There's the first one. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, those are the four shades and do it flirty. So the top one is Coquette, then it's Sweet Cheeks, XOXO, and then Tease at the bottom. And then here is Do It Undercover. And here's what that palette looks like. The shades in this one are much more firm. Like I'm not having the issue that I had with the first shade, this one up here, I'm not having with these other shades. Very interesting. Okay, so those are the four shades in Do It Undercover. We've got Hush Hush, Nuditude, Wallflower, and then Top Secret. Ooh, I'm trying to remove these. These have some lasting power. <laughs> I'm just using a makeup wipe, and most makeup just wipes right off. But these brighter colors are uh, hanging on. Okay. All right, so on the back of the boxes, it says to use either fingertips or brush, either or. So I think because I put powder down already, I'm gonna use my fingertips to use one of these shades as a blush, um, because then I can just kind of like tap gently so that you know the, the powder doesn't kind of like clump up or anything, do anything weird. I think what I'm gonna do is use this one as a blush. This one is T's as a blush. I'm really, really tempted to maybe combine these two as a blush as well. I really like nude blushes. All right, let's 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 start with this one. Let's start with T's. And again, I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of color here. And I just swiped my finger across the top, back and forth. And I'm just gonna tap. Nice, there's a little bit of tackiness as you're applying it. Wow, these are really pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. I really, I just kind of like back and forth a couple of times and I feel like that's plenty, plenty of blush. Wow, really, really beautiful. And this particular shade doesn't have any uh, metallic sheen to it. It doesn't really have like any shiftiness. It's just like a nice kind of like satin finish, cream finish. Like this shade has a golden kind of shift to it. That one is Sweet Cheeks. Um, but I think that's the only one. All of the other shades in both palettes seem to just be like a cream satin finish. Wow, I didn't, I didn't realize I picked up so much more pigment on this side. <laughs> Let me see if I can blend that out. Yeah, these are very, very pigmented. I'm just trying to even things out so I am adding a little bit more to this side. And I can always add a little powder on top to kind of tone it down a little bit if need be. But I think that's very pretty. That's a beautiful flush color, this one at the end. Wow, I'm thinking this one is so bright on my cheeks, I can't even imagine what these look like. We're gonna have to, use these in another video. Wow, look at that pigmentation, holy smokes. Holy smokes, for all of you blush lovers out there, like myself, you're gonna love these. Okay, I'm gonna reserve this for my lips. I think I'm gonna try and maybe combine these two to create like a nice lip color, uh, but we'll get there at the end. So uh, that's the Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette on my cheeks, wow. I can't believe the pigmentation. And yeah, they were a little bit tacky going on, but now that they've set down, they don't feel tacky on my cheeks at all. Ooh, oh, I really, really like this. Fun, 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 fun. Okay, um, now, 
Oh, highlight, okay. <laughs> Let's try the Clinique Cheek Pop Highlighter. This is the limited edition for Lunar New Year, and it is the Year of the Tiger. Oh, this is different. So here is the packaging. I don't remember it having a red bottom before. Oh, it's in the box, I can't see. Um, but this also has the actual uh, year here, 2022. That's actually interesting because this isn't 2022 lunar new year. It's actually much, it's a much higher number. This is, this is different. Anyway, <laughs> we're just going to go with it. So we've got a little cute tiger embossing. So, all right, I've got my Chikahoto cheek highlight brush and this is a baked gelée highlight. Let me actually do a little swatch for you. And there is a swatch of the highlight, really smooth and shiny. I really, really, really love um, these like baked gelée products from Clinique, except for the blushes. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I'm just not a fan of those blushes, but I love the bronzer and the highlight that they have. And um, these highlights, these like Lunar New Year highlights are really pretty. So just picking up a little and tapping onto my cheeks right here. Wow, that is enough. Look at that shine. And this gold is really good for my skin tone. It's not too deep, not too frosty white. It works really well. And it's a really smooth, smooth, wet looking highlight. Oh, that's very pretty. And you can't even tell that I used it. That's how little of this product I used. Wow. Okay, that is the Gold Celebration Pop, uh, this year's Lunar New Year highlight from Clinique. Let's move on to eyebrows. And I did get something from Rose Inc. I got the Brow Renew. This is an enriched shaping eyebrow gel. Now, I am impatiently awaiting to see what happens with my Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel, which I love. I've been using the Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel, which I really, really love. Um, but I would like to see one that has uh, some fibers in it. Um, and I don't know if this does, so we'll see. But I got the shade Fill 05, and this is what the packaging looks like. And, oh, we've got a nice spoolie. And I'm trying to see, I don't see any fibers. I don't see any fibers, okay. Well, let's see what the consistency is like. Well, so far it's nice. I will say I don't like it as much as my Persona Swipe Up because this formula seems a little on the thinner side. So there's not a lot of like thickening going on with just the gel, like even without the fibers, with just the gel, I feel like the Persona Swipe Up beefs them up a little bit more than this. This one is like a wetter formula, um, but the color is really, really great. I really like the color of it. Yeah, there isn't, um, there isn't a lot of hold either. I wouldn't say that this is like a nice kind of like, really kind of like sculpts and like, like a pomade to your brows. There really isn't that. It's very, very light. Um, there's a little bit of hold, but yeah, I like a little bit more like thickness to my brow gel. So yeah, so this is nice, but I still like my Persona Swipe Up more and the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. But this is, uh, I think at the moment, this is probably in spot number three in terms of eyebrow gels. It is, it is quite nice. All right, and for eyeshadow, I thought I would try the Aether Beauty Rose Quartz Crystal Quad. I did not purchase this during the haul. This was actually sent to me from Aether Beauty, but I really wanted to give it a shot because there are a couple shades in here that just looked so beautiful to me. These two on the right, I mean, they're all really pretty, but these two on the right just really, really caught my eye. So that is what the palette looks like. And here are the four swatches. So these are the two on the left, and then these were the two on the right that really caught my eye. This one I think is so pretty because it has like a little bit of a lavender sheen to it. And this one is um, color shifty. I think it's just a duochrome, but really, really pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go into this light lilac shade. It's called Stardust. And I've got my Sonia G Worker One brush. And I'm just gonna add this. Wow, look how frosty that is. I'm gonna add this to my inner corner here. 
and work in. And then I think I'm gonna go straight into the deepest shade here, that duochrome shade, and add this to the outer corners here. And blend over. Ooh, you see that pinky shift in there? It's so pretty. Next I'm gonna take this Esam V33 brush. It's like a fluffy um, blending brush. And I'm gonna go into this matte pink shade just pick up a little bit and brush this just lightly over those two shades that I laid down. Adds like a nice like rosy transition. All right, I think that's good for the eyes. I didn't get to use this shade, but I feel like this would be a great one and done shade. But these three I just used, this top one and these two. Ooh, how pretty. All right, that's the Aether Beauty Rose Quartz Crystal Quad. Very nice, okay, let me see. I need to add some uh, mascara, a little bit of eyeliner and some mascara. I didn't purchase any uh, during this haul, did I? No, I didn't, okay, so I'll be right back and then we'll play with this palette for lips. I just watched Lisa Eldridge's Patchwork Technique video and I just did that liquid eyeliner uh, thing that she does where she doesn't really tightline her upper lash line, but she gets underneath the lashes and really just adds like liquid liner to the base of her lashes just to kind of accentuate that, give that some depth. And I have not used a liquid liner in so long, but I just whipped out my Tom Ford one and I did that. And it's, I love the effect. It's really, really, um, minimal, but like really defined also. It's so pretty. It just, I feel like it makes your eyes look very, very kind of like twinkly in a way by adding that black liquid liner. It's magic. She's magic. She's magic. Anyway, I uh, just want to let you know that's what I did. I will have all the products that I'm using listed down below in the description box, but that's what I did um, in terms of eyeliner and mascara. Awesome. Okay. On to lips. I'm really excited to blend these two colors together. That was what I wanted to do uh, when I saw these palettes. It's, I don't know, I just feel like sometimes it's really hard to get like the most perfect nude for your lips, for your taste, for your complexion, just straight out of the bullet. So maybe it'll be fun to try and like mix one up. So let me find actually a lip brush. I know lip brushes are typically very small and very flat, but I don't know, I like ones that are a little fluffier, almost like a blending brush, but I just grabbed this Unit 310 brush. I thought maybe this could work. These are synthetic haired. And I'm going to pick up um, a little bit from this pan, this one over here, and add that to the back of my hand. So that's what that looks like. And then I'm gonna go into this third pan here they have names, um, Wallflower. That was just Nuditude, this one is Wallflower. And just kind of mix those two together. Yeah, and you get kind of like a rosy kind of caramel there. I think I want a little bit more of this Nuditude. Yeah, so I feel like I have something right in between those two shades. Oops, this way. Yeah, something right in between those two shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. I still can't believe how bright <laughs> my cheeks are. And I'm actually gonna grab some of this lightest shade, which is called Hush Hush, and add this to like the center of my lips. And then I'm gonna grab this deepest shade here, which is Top Secret, and add to the corner of my lips for just a very subtle kind of ombre. So it's darker in the corners, a little brighter at the plump part of your lips. Actually, I think I could use maybe a little more plumpness here. And then I have this shade kind of all over. Hmm, pretty. I like that subtle depth in the corners of my lips. I feel like it makes my lips look like they're poutier <laughs> than they actually are, you know, like they're coming out from the corners. And these are a great collection 
of nudes. What a beautiful range of nudes, huh? And I think, I've mentioned this before, but I think the most recent time I mentioned this was during the Chanel number one day Chanel video that I did where they have those lip and cheek balms. And usually when there's products for both lip and cheek, I usually only like it for one or the other, for the cheeks or for the lips. Very rarely do I like it for both. So like for that Chanel, I really liked it for the cheek, but I didn't like it for my lips. I felt like they were a little bit too drying, but they were quite nice for the cheeks. This product is actually, it's obviously amazing for the cheeks. I'm like amazed at how pigmented my cheeks are. And I love how it's set down. Like it doesn't feel tacky at all, but it was a little bit tacky applying, which actually makes it easier to apply. It's not like too emollient and too oily where you're just sort of spreading it around. And it feels nice on my lips. It doesn't feel drying. It doesn't feel too uh, stiff. It doesn't feel too goopy or anything. It's really quite nice. All right, before I let you go, let's do like a quick kind of close-up checkup of this foundation, of this concealer, the powder. Wow, everything looks great. Everything played well together, like really, really well together. This foundation is nice. This skin tint, self, uh, Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Tint. I think it looks really nice on the skin. I love the finish. I do have a little bit of that Rare Beauty powder on, obviously a lot of products on top, but I love the finish. It's just really, really natural. This is a great product, I suspect. This is the first time I used it, so um, I'm just taking a stab here, but I feel like this is a great product if you just wanna throw something on. Just something on, nothing, you know, not too committed. You don't have to put like a full face of makeup on after throwing this on because it does have such a like light coverage. It's really, really nice. And this shade is such a good shade match for me right now. Number 215. And everything else is beautiful. This eyeshadow is really beautiful. It's really growing on me. That like lilac frosty color in the inner corners, so pretty. And these Danessa Myricks palettes. These are really, really fun. I have some of her other cream palettes, but they were like soft, like this one. And I just, I never really got around to like really digging in and playing with them. Um, I'm glad she came out with these because these are a little bit less intimidating. These have uh, less uh, colors in here, let me think. Yeah, these have four and those have six, I think. Anyway, she has amazing products but I'm impressed with the pigmentation and I'm also impressed that it works well on both my cheeks and my lips. Well, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.